Good day, learners. How are you today? I hope that you are all doing great. Welcome to our week 6 of our fourth quarter in mechanical drafting. I am Ms. Eliza Surigao from Linguna National High School, your live streaming teacher for today. Please make sure that you have your pen and module ready as we enjoy the day of learning. Orthographic projection. Learning competency. Identify assembly and detailed drawing. Content standard. The learner demonstrates understanding of orthographic projection. Performance standard. The learner can interpret the orthographic and pictorial drawings according to drawing standards. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify the theories and principles of orthographic projection. Determine the top, sides, and front views of orthographic objects and appreciate the importance of orthographic projection in making plans and drawings. Before we proceed to our new lesson, let us have a recap first about the topic being discussed in your previous lesson. Direction. Identify the following alphabet of lines. Write your answer in the comment box below. You have 10 seconds to answer each number. Your timer starts now. The answer is center line. Number two. Your timer starts now. Correct. The answer is dimension line. Number three. Your timer starts now. Correct. The answer is extension line. Next. Your timer starts now. Correct. The answer is hidden line. Number six. The answer is visible line. The next, your timer starts now. You got it right. The answer is short break line. The next one. Your timer starts now. Correct. Long break line. Number eight. Your timer starts now. Phantom line. Number nine. Your timer starts now. Correct. Cutting plain line. Last number 10. Your timer starts now. Leader line. Very good, everyone. Before we proceed to our discussion, let me check your prior understanding about the topic. Zoom out, guess the object. Before we proceed to our discussion, let me check your prior understanding about the topic. Zoom out, guess the object. Direction. I will zoom out a specific picture and you must identify what the zoom out picture is. Type your answer in the comment section. Number one, your timer starts now. What do you think is this object? Correct. It's a pencil. Number two. Your timer starts now. A 
Again, what do you think is this object? Great! It is a ruler. Number three, your timer starts now. What do you think is this object? Very good. It is an eraser. Good work, learners. During the review, I only showed a part or portion of the objects, yet you easily identified what objects are being presented. Moving on to our topic, interpreting the views of the objects can be used to identify the full image of an object. Mechanical drafting. It describes the shapes of objects completely and exactly using orthographic views. Many different types of projections are used in the presentation of mechanical drawings. Orthographic projection is a means of representing three-dimensional objects into two dimensions. It is also the representation most used by engineers. Orthogonal views provide a means for describing the exact size and shape of an object. This is an orthographic projection. The first one is a multi-view drawing. It is a drawing that shows more than one view of an object. That's what you can see in the picture. The second one is the orthographic projection, a system for flat graphical representation of the principal views of an object. The third one is the orthographic view, a drawing that shows the three regular views of an object viewed directly from a 90 degree angle. You can see there the top, front, and the right view. So there are six principal views of an object. What do you think are they? For example, I have here a basket face mask that we now often use to protect us from spreading and getting the virus, especially in this type of pandemic. So we have here first, the front view. It shows the width and the height dimensions of an object. The next one is the left side. It shows the depth and height dimensions of an object. The next is the right side view. It is the standard side view used and it also shows the depth and height dimensions. The fourth one is the top view. It shows the object's width and depth dimensions. The fifth one is the rear view. It shows the back posterior part of the object or the figure. And the last one is the bottom view. It shows the base part of an object or figure. Planes of projection. The three planes of projection used in orthographic drawing are First one is the horizontal plane. It's the plane perpendicular to but horizontal to the viewer. The next one is the frontal plane. It is the plane facing the viewer and where the front view image are projected. The last one is the profile plane. The plane perpendicular to both coordinate planes and hence to the ground line is called a profile plane. The planes of projection join and form quadrants. These quadrants are both first angle, second angle, third angle, and fourth angle. The first and the third quadrants are used for drafting purposes. Overall size of the object. 
Number one is the depth. It is per it is the perpendicular distance between two frontal planes. Number two is the height. It is the perpendicular distance between the horizontal planes. The last one is the width. It is the perpendicular distance between two profile plates. Overall size of the object. Very good, learners. I hope you learned a lot today. What areas of learning do you think can we integrate our topic for today? All right, incredibly good. Mathematics, because of the terms that we usually use and see in our math subjects. Also, the measurements and shapes of the objects. Explain what we have learned today by completing the following phrases. Okay, I got someone from the Nguna National High School, Jersey Anastasio. She learned the theories and principles of orthographic projection. She applied the six principal views when drawing an object. And she realized the importance of orthographic projection in making plans and drawings. Now, let me give you an activity about our lesson for today. Directions. Fill in the blanks with the correct word or words to make the statement complete. Choose the correct answer from the word down below and comment your answer in the comment section. Number one. Orthographic drawings are also known as Correct! Quadrants Number 2 The most used views are top, front, and Correct. Right side. Number three. In the planes of projection, the four planes are called. Multiviews. Very good. Number four. Orthography. Blank is the best way to represent a 3D object by using several 2D views. Projection. Let's go to number 5. Mechanical drawing describes the shapes of objects completely and exactly using blank Views. Very good. Orthographic. Next activity. Label each figure with the six principal views. You have thirty seconds to answer to answer it. All right, the answers are left side, top, rear, right side, bottom, and front. Great job, students! If you have questions or are unclear part of our discussion today, please do not hesitate to ask your TLE teachers to clarify your concern during your follow-up discussion. For your assignment, answer post test 1 and 2 on page 6 of the learning 
pockets. Thank you everyone for listening and participating. That will be all for today and I hope you learned a lot. But before I end my discussion, I want to give you my references. Photos is from Google, Timer from YouTube, and the fonts is from Online Logo Maker. And I want to thank all the people behind, behind the scenes that helped me. Special thanks to Ma'am Laura Del Mapilisan, Ma'am Kimberly Andonga, Sir Ian Itzumosa, Sir Renan Rodriguez, Ma'am Remy Santos, and Ma'am Claire Dapo. That will be all for today. Once again, I am Miss Eliza Sarigao. Goodbye and keep safe, everyone.